She's a tiny one for the first one of the year. Yeah. I finally figured out the best secret for catching swarms this season. Where this hat from the 628 Dirt Rooster hobby beekeeping is a way of life. And look at here, guys. Check it out. Bam! How quick that was. Yep. So if you talk to the dirt rooster, he is going to be your way to getting swarms this season. Yep. Lots of luck coming from him. Thank you, dirt rooster. I much appreciate it. Thanks, and this is Blueservic signing out. It's not a tiny one either. It goes back behind the backer board. Uh-oh. Okay. This is not going to be a quick job. Okay. What are you seeing? Oh, up here where they shoot out the backer board. Uh-huh. So unless this wire is abandoned. Uh-huh. I'm assuming they're still using this panel. I don't think it'll be code. I don't know if they are or not. Well, the code man's up on the roof now. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I have to look and see if it's got a 200 amp service outside. Uh, I think they might start coming out of there. There was none in the window last night. Who found them? Uh, the front of the roof or the front of I'm not sure. Oh. Yes, thank you. House is getting a little bit of a facelift. Vice grip, vice grip strength in your fingers to grab the door. This one here is a little deceiving. It looks like a tiny little small swarm. And do you look and see what they're working? This could be a sizable hive between the brick veneer and the and the blackboard. Good thing is they've already busted the wall, so they're not real concerned about being clean. Uh, okay. Go ahead. I was going to say, I was going to run to Home Depot right quick. Yeah. And um, I'll be back. All right. And uh, that's, that's it. That's it right there? Yeah, come on in and look. <laughs> was that a bust more out? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> man. <laughs> you calling me like I was supposed to just come on in here, man. Yeah, man. Okay, you may show you how to touch them. Heck no, 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 no. You gonna do a video of it when you um, yeah. when you take them all out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need we'll, a video. We'll video the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna need a video, so I'll, um, send it to me. And then get done. Oh my God, man. Wait, I want you to come up here. No. No, man. Yeah, you ain't gotta touch it, you can get close. Oh my God, you touching that? Yeah. You don't scare the bites, man? No. Man, you is crazy, man. I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Just gotta be real gentle. No, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all already got some in the, in the thing? You just put something in there, Uh huh. No, man. Yeah. I am not touching that thing, man. Ain't no way. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm I'm scared to be even be in here. I'm not getting the steam today, man. So that means it's a big honeycomb part back behind that it thing. Could be. Because I was hitting the thing yesterday and they wouldn't come out at oh, all. They, they Outside? Out. Yeah, it's no, better. I was hitting in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thinking that it would fly out. Yeah, no, not normally. And if it's cold, they're not coming out. Yeah, I noticed that when it's cold, they don't do nothing. Oh, oh, what's your name? Kevin. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't, I won't steal you, bro. No, man. He, he won't steal you on, I promise you. I'm not doing shit. I got him on a t-shirt, so they know everything's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay.
I'm not touching but, it. But I get there, just get get up here close so you can have a picture. <laughs> Where's your phone at? Oh my god, man. <laughs> so you want me to just do this? Yes. There you go. Oh my god, man, you got me scared. Put your bit of hand back up there. Real slow, man, you gotta move slow. Got the everything be back. Getting set up for what could be a long removal. But I got a lunch date with my daughter and my wife. So I'm fishing to leave pops to it for a little bit. Get him into the wall. And take a break and I'll be back. I didn't like that bathroom. I love that color. <laughs> Smoky. That's the first brood comb out. We got eggs, young larvae, and cat brood and all that. And then we got a four inch. Looks like just a four inch fur out right here or something. Not sure what it is. It looks like maybe, maybe they don't go below that. The roofers are the ones that found the hive and they were trying to get it out themselves. And one of them got Stung up four or five times trying to steal some honey. <laughs> so he was in here checking out how we were doing it. How you supposed to do it? That guy right there. What'd you find? 100% brick all the way to the ground. Huh. I've had a few people lately ask me about liability issues with cutting out hives. And this is the kind of stuff you got to be aware of. These are not live right now that I know of, but we're still going to work around. We're not going to touch them because, no. uh, you know, no, sure, some, sure somebody says they're not live, you cut one and you're going to find different. But that being said, if you didn't know what you're doing, you get in here and come in here with a sawzall or a jigsaw or something, try to cut these walls, you run into that, you, you might hurt yourself or start a fire or you, you don't know what, what might happen. So those are the kind of things you gotta watch out for. There's that fur out right there where that wire runs out. It's got a little bit of space there. I hadn't seen, I don't know how deep that is. You want to take a high tool in there and see how deep that goes back? I'm behind you, you look back. Slide a high tool across the top of that board and see. There's quite right a there. quite a bit of open space there. Mm -hmm. Gotta dig in there and see 
what that is. I'm fixing to walk around the side and look at it myself. Solid they got, brick. They got plenty of room to build in there. Mm -hmm. A solid brick. To here maybe, Four so inches. maybe there's uh, something above that we can open. They're behind that board. If I could take that board out, we could do it from the outside real easy, probably. All that electrical service is in the way, though, so they got to come from inside. Yeah. Brick, brick veneer stops, uh, basically, even with the top of the window. If I could get that board out, I can take that one end board out. And I might do that. I don't know. They're obviously not in the soffit. There's a big squirrel hole right there. No, nobody's going in and out of that, so just the wall. Problem is, I don't know how far. I, I think probably they'll stop at the brick, but I really don't know. We got a lot of them drawn to this back wall for some reason. I'm wondering if there's not another hive in here. This room here looks like a tear down. It's caving in. Can't go out that door. I gotta leave Pops on tool gathering detail while I go have lunch with my wife and my, my baby girl and my grandson. And uh, get back here, it's probably gonna be after after dark when we finish this thing up. But what all they saw to begin with was that little bitty thing in the wall that you saw to start with. So they thought that's all it was when we got there. Of course, you know, a little bit of looking, a little bit of probing. It's obvious it's a lot bigger than that. So gotta go get some more tools. And uh, good thing we got the uh, everything B back there with us because there's no power on that property or either one on either side. The contractor's running off a extension cords from two properties over, from what I could tell. But everything B back, take care of everything. <laughs> no power needed, baby. Just flashlights. They done made such a mess around here. I can't get around the backyard. I had to climb the fence on the other side. That, uh, all those bees around that back window were on a piece of comb. Those roofers that tried to remove it, <laughs> they got themselves ate up. Slung a couple pieces of comb out that back window. That's what the bees were on. So we're just getting back on this. Just before sunset, extension cord run from two doors down for some light. I was just poking around some more and I noticed this hanging here. Dead bees on comb where those roofers tried to get rid of this thing. Tried to talk with them a little bit, but they had no English. Zero English. And my Spanish is, is uh, pretty limited. No queen, no beetles, no mites. When I say no queen, I just mean on this board. There's a queen in there somewhere. She's sure laying. There's eggs and young larvae. Got 
keep keep a diligent eye out for her because mm -hmm. no telling when she'll show. Yeah. More tight spaces. Where's the horse off when you need one? <laughs> Mr. Ed. and girls trying to move y'all a little behind mostly girls I don't see any boys yet come on get off my knife don't want nobody to lose a leg in an industrial accident down as it goes but I think it goes up another foot uh oh another 10 10 inches or so past that mm -hmm. show you something real quick uh, Joe May little bits honeybees on YouTube the other night on our live chat somebody asked when they should start thinking about splitting their colonies and he made a pretty wise statement he said listen to the bees they'll tell you and this is kind of what he was talking about this right here is drone comb maybe it'll tell the size difference the upper is worker brood that's drone comb and this is drone comb all that white in there is larva laying in puddles of food so they're getting ready to start producing a bunch of drones. That's how I was getting ready to start thinking about swarming pretty soon. Let's see, let's see how much well, bigger it is. Back in this other side here, all, almost past the wire. Uh, yeah, they got the whole propolized, but I can't tell. Yes. The brood stops about even with that stud comb goes a little ways, but the problem is the bees are clustered up in there. I don't know if we can. You're talking about here behind us, the last three white wires. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Not four, there's two cell ones. It looks like holes up there. Comb's still going. Yeah. The bees are at least one more stud Not cavity. Yeah. It looks like they're one more stud cavity over. Now I'm gonna pull them. Okay. We're gonna finish it tonight okay. if we can. One thing. We can do it. We're gonna have to cut this blackboard and work around these wires. Mm -hmm. Cut some more of that sheetrock out. You said cut all we want. I'm gonna walk outside and look at that oh, meter. Here we can, we can rip that sheetrock out. I know he said Coast Electric wouldn't turn the power on, but I'm gonna walk outside and look at that meter before I work around this junk. That's junk. what he said. Got a situation like this where you, they tell you there's no power, it's not their life on the line, so you wanna check and double check. Old property like this, I'm fairly certain the power's off, but uh, you know, one stupid move on somebody's part, it's possible it never got disconnected because I did have an old piece of property with a down line down for three years power company came out checking i never knew the line was hot it's laying on the ground and uh they came out and found it hot and i thank god i never fooled with it but like this property here i'm fixing to have to get around them wires with a razor blade and a saw 
and I just want to make sure 100% for my own peace of mind it's off on the older meters they'll either be gone with a plate or the meter will be turned at a what about a 45 and this that they disconnect it turn it and plug it back into a dead space all right right here these tight spots where you gotta slice and dice get this wall cut up like a christmas ham <laughs> and uh, uh, they'll take the queen and hide her yeah. the queen and a bunch of pranksters will Run, hide. Mm -hmm. You know I'm not talking to you, right? Mm -hmm. And they'll get, get in a spot where it's real hard to get to. So you can see I got the bottom end of the hive pretty well open. I don't know how far it goes up from there. Still, I think it goes up a little ways, eight or 10 inches above that board there. But you see over here, we got a bunch of knuckleheads hanging out fanning. Now I can't see that. I just got my camera stuck up there where I maybe can get a view, but bet you dollars to donuts she's up in there. So I'm gonna cut the rest of this out and we'll, we're gonna play a little waiting game for a little bit. Everything's out except for that comb you can see there, a little piece there, and some bees clustered up here and there. So we're giving them a little break to group up again while we pick up tools. And that is light hanging. I like, I like people that hang plants from the ceiling because then you can hang your work light. <laughs> work light hanging there just to keep the bees away from me. I'm putting it back over here so I can see what I'm doing to finish up. Eight forty-five, and we out. I don't even know what to do the rest of my evening. I'm not used to finishing these before ten. Guess I'll call Mr. Ed and see if he's still awake.